Hi, my name is David Ibbett, resident composer at the Center for Astrophysics, Harvard and Smithsonian. And I'm going to show you how we channel images of the deep universe into orchestral electronic music. This song, Luminosity, is part of the Voice of the Universe project. It was created using the first science image from the JWST. And as you'll see, it's a feast of color and rhythm. S-MAX 0723 is a galaxy cluster, four billion light years away. And on the sky, the whole image is in fact less than the size of a grain of sand held at arm's length. Just look at how much is happening in one grain of sand. To help illustrate the richness and complexity of this image, perhaps music can shine a light. Now you might think that the large star top left of the center is the focus of the image, but that's just a red herring. It's a local star from our Milky Way, given away by its diffraction spikes. These are distortions caused by the web's hexagonal mirrors. Instead, look closely at the center. The glowing blobs in the middle are in fact governing the entire image, like a cosmic conductor. If we add in the X-ray data from the Chandra X-ray Observatory, shown in blue, we can see how everything in the image seems to sweep around the center in radiant circles. This forms the baseline for our song. What you're hearing on the cellos and violas is a direct sonification of this blue data, where further from the center means higher in pitch. This blue blob is, of course, the galaxy cluster S-MAX 0723, and it's 2.4 million times the mass of our Sun. These galaxies are engulfed in a sea of superheated gas that we can see only in X-rays. As we trace around the image, the cellos and basses play the central ring in staccatos, and the legato espressivo violas follow the outer edge. You'll hear at the top left, there's a flurry of activity as the more complex blobs seem to escape from the central mass. At the foreground of the images are the bright and jagged stars, and we play those on the brass and the chimes. <laughs> but what's at the back? This is what's most exciting to astrophysicists, and again, color and shape reveal the answer. These red shapes are not actually red. Each one is a galaxy, perhaps like our Milky Way, but they're so distant that their light has been distorted and stretched into redder and redder colors with lower wavelengths. Not only that, but when their light approaches the S-MAX cluster on its way toward us, it's contorted by the power of gravity through a process called gravitational lensing. Each point is stretched out into a line, and some are even duplicated, forming almost concentric circles that seem to spiral and flutter around the central mass. These make for a perfect flute melody, played with acrobatic leaps by Jessica Smith. And we can add that on top of our bass line to flesh out the image. Agnes Kirkley-Cox, our voice of the universe, sings in the Great Refractor Telescope at the Centre for Astrophysics, Harvard and Smithsonian. And this was once home to the Harvard Computers, a pioneering group of women in the 19th and 20th centuries who made groundbreaking discoveries in astrophysics at a time where women were certainly not encouraged to enter the field. Agnes sings about how special our moment is in history and how lucky we are to be able to experience these wonders right now and how in just one image we can learn so much about the nature of the universe. The magnification of these distant galaxies shows them in exquisite detail, so much so that we may, through a gravitational lens, be able to find the first stars to ignite in our universe and one day understand the birth of stars and galaxies in the cosmic dark ages 
some 13 billion years ago. So that's our story, told in one image, one sonification, and one song.